G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, I expect Bitcoin to make a move in the next few days. As we can see our chart here, now this is on the daily. Uh, this, you know, this kind of wedging pattern uh, is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And as you can see, this is today the 16th, there's the 17th, there's the 18th, and there's the 19th, and there's the 20th. I actually expect uh, this to be broken uh, in the next few days. This technically could stretch out until the 23rd of August. Uh, I, I really think it's going to happen in the next kind of maybe three or four days. You know, we're either going to break to the upside or we're going to break to the downside. Who knows? I mean, you know, of course it's possible we could just continue to travel sideways, but I am thinking that there's probably going to be a little bit of a pullback. That's what my gut feeling is selling at the moment. And I think it's probably going to be down to somewhere around about here. I think we'll uh, come down and retest the 11,000-ish dollar mark, 11,300. As you can see, there's uh, a bit of sort of uh, support uh, there. I think we'll come back and down and test that. But I think we also possibly could come back down to the 11,000. That's my gut feeling at the moment. There's just been a lot of upward movement. You know, we've had a couple of sell-off days, but then it's pushed back up. I wouldn't be surprised if we come back down and test that kind of 11,000, yeah, sort of $300 range uh, before we then move up and really have a, you know, a, a proper a proper go at that 12,000, sort of 400, $12,500 move. So yeah, expect uh, Bitcoin, I think in the next few days to um, make a move. And again, it quite possibly could break to the upside, but we can see the volume's getting a little bit low here. But again, that's more so, I think, because of the weekend. That's generally what happens. Uh, it could pick up tomorrow and just go absolutely ballistic. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I do think we're going to sell off and going to come down to around about this kind of, uh, you know, 11,300-ish dollar range. I think we'll come back down and retest this before we possibly move up. But if we break through this $11,300 range, I am expecting us to come down to around about here. And it's about $11,000 flat. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. But who knows? We'll see. It could break up. Let's go have a look at the Ethereum. Uh, and so again, Ethereum has, uh, you know, it's gone on this big massive run and we haven't had any real substantial kind of pullback. I mean, it wicked all the way down to here. But really... I'm expecting it to come back and retest this yellow line here. So about that $390, $388 level, uh, I, I, I see Ethereum coming down, uh, retesting this, and then we're going to bounce higher. And I guess, you know, to have a look where the next sort of move might be, if it's going to load, there we go. There's not really uh, too much uh, that we can see from here. You know, possibly up to around about here. So I expect it to go up to around the $520 mark. And then really from there, there's, you know, a, a tiny bit there, but probably more somewhere around about here. So the $700 mark. So again, 520 is really where I see it going. Once we sort of break upwards again, I do see it going back down to that $390 mark. Uh, but then I think, yeah, we're going to punch up to this $520 level fairly fast, if not e even continue through. And again, get somewhere up here, around the $720, $750 mark. And I see that all happening sort of fairly shortly as well in, in the next few days. You know, Monday's coming tomorrow here in Australia, you know, a little bit later uh, for the rest of the world and particularly the States and things like that. That's usually when we're going to see how the market is feeling, whether, you know, people are bullish and then all of a sudden it just starts to shoot up or whether it's a little bit bearish. But again, I do think both Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum have been on a bit of a run. I see a little bit of a pullback happening before we go higher. So again, 300 and sort of 90 odd dollars for Ethereum. And again, that 11,000, get rid of that. Yeah, somewhere around about sort of here, 11,000. You know, 200, uh, sort of 11,000, sort of, you know, maybe even $400 range. Uh, come back down and test this before we go higher. But again, if we break through those, I am expecting around the, the 11,000 flat. Uh, and, you know, it's not out of the realm that we come down to test that $10,000 level. Now, there was an interesting story I found over here. So there are people questioning whether we're even in a bull market. And look, I suppose that that's fair enough. You know, Bitcoin has been to these prices before uh, and been rejected, and we're having a lot of trouble breaking through that twelve thousand uh, dollar mark at the moment. So, it's not like it's all you know, <laughs> rainbows and butterflies at the moment. You know, we've been doing well over the last couple of months, but you know, other than breaking out of that trend line, 
and I'll go back to here and if we really zoom out yes we've broken out of that trend line but we haven't really broken you know some key resistance levels so we haven't been able to break that 12,000 twelve and a half thousand dollar mark we certainly haven't been able to break that fourteen thousand dollar mark for a long time we haven't even been close you know we've only just really finally tested above that ten and a half thousand dollar level and now the key is we have to get that through that twelve and a half thousand dollar and definitely through that fourteen thousand dollar mark because after that this is always loading a little bit slow yeah after that Once we get through there, it's basically, you know, there's a brief stop at around about 17000 and then we start to break that $19,000 mark, uh, and then we're into uncharted territory. Another interesting story I found was uh, the, Winkle, the Winklevoss twins. So allegedly, they're around $220 billion. Uh, not too bad. Uh, you know, they uh, got paid out from Facebook, and I think it was around about 2011, 2013. Here we go. They bought their stack of uh, Bitcoin for $11 million back in 2013. In 2013, I'm going to say there was <laughs> uh, Bitcoin's price was quite low. Uh, it went in here somewhere. So they believe that the Winkle, Winklevoss twins have around about 184,000 uh, Bitcoin. So not too bad. They've done all right for themselves, you know. Invented Facebook, maybe got a little bit stitched up by Zuckerberg there, but I think they've, you know, bounced back and done all right. They've landed on their feet, so good on them. And last but not least, I just want to go over and have a look at the charts. So again, this continues to go up. We're down a little bit, obviously, 0.5%, but that's, you know, that generally happens on the weekends. Again, there's always, well, not always, but quite often there's a bit of a sell-off over the weekend, and that's what we've seen. Uh, you know, we're down 0.5%. Uh, so expect tomorrow uh, to, you know, really kind of let us know exactly what's going to happen uh, on where the market cap's going. But if we have a look at the 24 hours, there's definitely been some coins that have really pumped. So Carver's uh, done well. Uh, Yearn Finance, Reserve Token, Chainlink, you know, it just doesn't stop at the moment. You know, I keep thinking at some stage there's got to be a pullback from Chainlink and it just goes again. I haven't seen a significant uh, pullback in Chainlink. Uh, yeah, as long as I can remember. I could obviously go back through the chart and I'm sure I could find something that resembles somewhat of a decent pullback. But yeah, Chainlink just continues on. But considering it's at all-time highs and around that $20 mark, Unless you believe in Chainlink, you know, and, and the full fundamentals and, you know, the long-term feasibility of it, just be careful if you're going to buy into Chainlink at $20. I'm not saying it's a bad investment. I'm just saying there's every chance it could, you know, have a severe correction. It's just been, you know, constantly setting, you know, higher price targets for a long time. You know, most cryptocurrencies generally have a pullback at some stage, so... Anyway, uh, BAM protocol done well. Litecoin's had a bit of a move. So it's not like there's no uh, gainers out there. There definitely are. But again, this is what I'm keeping my eye on. It's the market cap. The market cap just continues to grow. And that is really what makes me think we are in a bull run. You know, there's you know, articles over here of people who think we aren't. And look, fair enough. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying what I believe in. So again, we've just traveled sideways for such a long time. You know, July 2019, it peaked up. You know, then it kind of fell off and started to come down. Then we went sideways, peaked up a little bit. Obviously, the pandemic happened. We had, uh, you know, quite a significant correction. But ever since then, it's just been building up and building up. But again, we really need to break this kind of $400 billion mark. That's something that we haven't uh, touched for quite some time. So they're kind of the key levels. Again, Bitcoin's got to break through, you know, 12,500, then it's got to break that 14,000. Uh, and the overall market cap, we really need to break this $400 billion mark. But we continually get closer and closer. I mean, it's gone down, a, you know, one, uh, 100 billion right there or something. So 379 billion, yep. So it was 380 billion. So we'll just wait and see. But, you know, I think long term we're definitely uh, in a re entered a bull market and things are only going to get better from here. But, you know, if you haven't been in the crypto space for a while and you don't understand corrections and how severe they can be, uh, and, you know, while this pandemic was one of the worst corrections uh, cryptocurrencies ever seen, 
there's been other, uh, you know, retracements and pullbacks that have been almost as severe. Not quite as severe. I think that's the worst one ever. But, you know, you just got to be along for the bumpy ride with cryptocurrencies. I mean, yeah, things are looking good in my books, uh, you know, but that's just my opinion. It's not financial advice. And there you go. We've got even a bit more of a sell off now. We're down to 378. But again, it's the weekend. That's generally what happens. We'll have to wait and see what happens uh, Monday morning. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Just a quick little look at the markets and some interesting stories that I found. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train and I'll see you next time.